What would you say is your most memorable or funniest moment from filming? There was quite a bit of ad-libbing going on. Spike Lee told me to put some bass in my voice once. It was really the first scene that we were, I was speaking. We had worked a couple days already, it was a lot of action stuff. But he came, he comes around and talks about some blocking notes. And then he's not even looking at me, he's like, and, and put some bass in your voice. And he just walks off and I just laughed hysterically. I thought that was really funny. And uh, I guess it got me my nerves going, because I was a little tight that day and it, it loosened me up, so I was good to go. You had to change your voice in the film. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, was there much practice in it with you being like, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, um, uh, sure, the, uh, uh, yeah, I was doing a lot of that, a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of, the, no, I mean, I, I it's a research, a lot of interviews and talking, but I didn't want to emulate, I wanted, I didn't want it to be spot on, I didn't want that to take away from what was going on in this underneath, underneath the surface. I wanted to make sure I got, I worked inside out with him, so uh, that was sort of the last final touches was the voice. No gargling of hot drinks. <laughs> I didn't gargle anything, no. <laughs> <laughs> so the final Charlottesville footage was quite devastating. What was your reaction like watching it in the film? Embarrassed for my country. I felt that way even watching the whole film in France. I felt embarrassed for my country. I talked to uh, my uncle and my mom about it. I asked them if it was worse. You know, they were they were living in those times in the 70s. And I said, do you think it was worse then or now? And I was doing a lot of research in the 70s. And I thought how, man, America was messed up even back then. And she says it, she said it's worse now. And so I imagine it's the same feelings of these radical, just fed up feelings that a lot of Americans had when Vietnam was happening, when Martin Luther King got shot, JFK. I imagine it's the same feelings when seeing that uh, when seeing that footage and think, thinking that we have a long way to go. And has there been a lot of strong audience feedback? Oh yes, yeah. people seem to, that seems to be the most consistent. It's like everybody just, you can hear a pin drop. You know, and then I, I've been hearing some applause. People have been applauding in, in theaters uh, across the country. But th that seems to be the most consistent. Is that footage? Is it's pretty? It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like what everyone's talking about. Yeah, yeah. And do you think it's important to show that side of it instead of just having a light-hearted? You no, know, Spike Lee's a master of tone. So I think you need all the package and delivery of this message. I think is spot on. Again, it's not a comedy, but there's humorous moments in these. The, the hilarity is in the ridiculousness of this case and that it happened. That it's really true story. So we're we're able to get this message and receive it at a Friday night at the cinema. So, you know, it's not too heavy. You're not walking out there just just devastated. You're ready to discuss because of the, the different beats that uh, Spike uses in this film to get the message across. 